it's uh, relatively small, and we have uh, 620 academic staff and uh, 740 support and research staff. And uh, for the undergraduate, uh, 11,000. And uh, for the postdoctoral by taught, we have uh, 2,500. And PFD is uh, 600. 600. It's a very, very small, right? And uh, so we are in the uh, College of Engineering, Design, and Physical Science. So it's, uh, we only have three colleges in the whole university. In the past, we have eight schools. But uh, five years ago, they tried to restructure, and uh, we have three uh, colleges, three colleges. So this college is one of the largest engineering schools in the UK. And uh, this is the numbers of about our uh, uh, college. For the PhD student full-time study, it's 400, uh, 240. So for the PhD students, we have a civilian team. And this team, we have three parts. First is the principal supervisor, or first supervisor. And then the student will give a second supervisor. Second supervisor, most time, has a backup. So if the first supervisor is not available or something, and the second supervisor uh, will take on the task. But uh, some, some of them, the first supervisor, second supervisor, they call supervisor students, because the project might involve two parts. Just not some people talk about in the discipline and uh, there are uh, lots of people from different uh, uh, disciplines uh, for the project. So the students may be supervised some part by the first supervisor, some part by the second father, because they have different uh, uh, different scale and from different uh, departments, schools. And uh, we also have one is called the research development advisor. So this role is basically is monitoring the student's progress. So it was given at the beginning of the case study, and then it will be in charge of the whole process, whole process, to just make sure the student's progress properly. And uh, for the monitoring, uh, we use uh, um, online system, and this online system can cover all the things, such as application. When a student submits applications, it will go online and then it will be recorded. So the supervisor uh, will pick up from that system and the author will give a system and the student will uh, carry on here. After they, they come and then we have uh, uh, recorded meetings. Recorded meetings means we have to uh, check uh, every time, every about six months, six weeks, every six weeks. And at least six weeks, we should have one recorded meeting. We want to see what we discuss and what's the progress in so on. And apart from that, we have a progress monitoring system. So for a student, the first one is four weeks meeting. In this four weeks meeting, the three supervisors, the first, the second, and the RDA, we are in that team. We are just to make sure the PFT project is simple and it's uh, feasible. So this is the most important uh, meeting. And then second, we have nine months. Nine months is just check. If this student progress properly, we have, can he or she manage to finish the PLD. So the student will submit some uh, writing, like a literature review, and we will see if he or she can write uh, academic uh, uh, articles. And the 19, the 18 months means part-time student. So instead of nine months, we have 18 months. And then we have 20 months, 30 months, and then 40 months review. So this kind of review basically is organized by RDA. And then invited to an independent uh, academic staff uh, be in the meeting. So the supervisor is not, uh, you can be there, but you cannot speak up uh, on behalf of a student. And then the, uh, the team will make the decision if the student can progress or not for this. 
And uh, for the monitoring, we also have other issues. If you think some uh, different situation or some difficulties, you can go through the system. System go uh, step by step and as a group. So make sure everything is covered together. I just show something, and uh, one thing is this one. So at Brunel, we have a graduate school. In this school, and uh, we want the students not only study something, do some project, we also can be trained as a, a proper researcher. So we have called the Brunel 3D Research Development Course. So basically, the three are here. So the skills needed to do your research, and uh, such as uh, uh, for how to do the re uh, research and information uh, literacy, how can do the survey, and uh, critical thinking and uh, analysis skills, and research management, and secondary skills needed to uh, <coughs> disseminate your research, like uh, communication skills, engagement and impact, and some people have done some we call RDA uh, for the GTA to do some student support, uh, supervision some workshops, uh, supervision some labs, and so on. And also, we want to de develop the skills uh, for the research and career. Uh, some uh, inter, uh, intro uh, personal skills, uh, career management skills, and so on. I'll share, I'll show some. Uh, Okay, so another thing is based on this requirement, we set up something for students, such as video resources and online tools. So this kind of like a course for the students to train in them. So you can say we have covered uh, how to do the meeting, how to do the uh, progress, and how to uh, do this. Uh, uh, library here as well. So basically, this kind of course we think is essential for the people study. So this course, most of them are com uh, compulsory. So the student have to finish them, and then you will have a record there. And then in the next uh, progress meeting, and you must be know okay to have done this. And uh, so I'm not sure anymore. And uh, also, we provide lots of workshops. You can see here, there's a list of one, two. Uh, but uh, there are many uh, uh, workshops almost uh, uh, every week, uh, every month, we have many. So the students we require is every year you should attend about 10 workshops. Or you can attend some seminars. Sometimes we have to invite the lecture for seminars, so we can uh, ask them to be there uh, report their attendance. Uh, apart from this, I also have the student uh, conference, research conference. We have uh, college level, university level, and department level, and so on. For this project, and uh, the principal <coughs> investigator is Dr. Tatiana Kalaloba, and uh, She's very busy, and that's why last week she asked me to be here. So, okay, so this is a uh, uh, basic uh, about the Brunei University. And then I'll talk about uh, how can we do it, all these things together, use one system. We call the evasion system. So for this evasion system, uh, you can log in and then you can see everything there. From the student uh, applications, you can check all the applicants' details, all the documents. And then you have uh, research management facility and uh, you, can, you can check your students and you can see all the uh, information recorded. And uh, also, we have progress documents if you want to check. Something all this is So in summary, this system cover all this, and uh, so make sure all the things are recorded, everything are uh, properly uh, monitored, and uh, make sure later on if we have something we can save immediately. 
So later on, I will show this one and I'll show you from the video. I have more questions. And uh, one other thing I want to show you is online as well, is uh, for Hydra and the Celsius uh, energy. This is my experience. So basically, I use Google uh, for paper writing. Anybody use this one before? No? Nobody. OK. There are many, many systems, but I use this one. I think it's very good uh, for changing security. And, uh, so basically, every paper or every status is a project. And then you can end it, your student can end it. You can make comments and you can say, and they can work on together. So this examples I uh, recently my PhD uh, student finished. So latex has a temperature. It's not like a wall. It's a temperature. You just need to put contents there. They have format everything in space. And uh, so it's easy to, to, to do. Also for the modifications, it's very, very uh, easy to do. And uh, this way you can see, when I read it, I have put a comment, and then the student can easily see what is there, and then the student can work on it. Especially when you think about some students a uh, lot, uh, uh, be visual, uh, remote, and then this is a very, very good uh, approach. Can't you use this for drafting a proposal? So maybe for new proposal, you can still use this in drafting. Uh, for myself, I normally put um, everything on my website. So this is my, my uh, personal website, and uh, I talk about my uh, background, research, teaching, and professional activities, publications, and so on. So I put everything there. I think the university have the same thing. We want everybody to put their things there. That makes other people especially from outside, can easily see what you are doing and uh, what research is doing and problem. And every month I put updates, so what is the uh, new thing happened, and I will put that. For my Chester supervision, I joined Brunel 2011, so about four years some students graduate. In the beginning, I was second supervisor uh, for two uh, students, uh, one finished 14, one finished 17, and since then, I have one, two, uh, three, uh, few students graduates. Especially recently, I have three uh, students uh, finished. So, my research area is mainly about communication and uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, currently, I have four, six, six uh, kids, uh, and this one we can say we have three part-time, three uh, full-time. That's why we use latex. Uh, the course is much better, and uh, hopefully, the last two can finish this year. That's still the status is uh, nearly down there. And second supervisor, uh, I have my own yeah, students. So most time you will not involve too much. And uh, uh, sometimes for the progress review, sometimes for the issues. <coughs> okay, so here I will talk about, uh, uh, I will show you how to use this system. And you can look for new vision for the PhD uh, monitoring and six meetings and progress review and the 3D tools as well. And later on, I'll talk about this to show you how to use uh, Google Deep. Okay, first I'll talk about this new uh, vision. So Evalion is a system, and uh, we use the uh, layer. I'll show you what's here. OK, 
Okay, so when you go inside, uh, and there are many, many things. So almost uh, all the students at Brunel will put their documents in this system. And it's uh, not only PRT, all the students. And the students, you can see their uh, information uh, here, address, and even the modules they learn, and so on. And for PhD, we mean it from here. So for the PhD, first is this one. It's the application review. So when we receive the applications, and it will put on this system. And then some uh, supervisor will be informed. You go to this system, and then you can check. You go to this system, you can check the students' the details and so on. And you put uh, postgraduate research in the video students, and you put the numbers, and you can save all the documents for the applications. And uh, then for this one, it's for the supervisor. For the supervisor, you have students request inbox. So some students, if they have some issues, they can send uh, official documents here. And uh, then you can see this one is by the dashboard. And this is the, the progress uh, document. So when you go this one, you will have two parts. One is uh, review student and RBA. So here you can see um, an RDA for these students. So basically, you can see, you can check their supervision meetings, the recorded meetings. And then some students uh, have, like this one, 30 months, and this one is uh, 9 months, 20 months, 30 months, 40 months, and so on. So when they have this time, you will submit. And then we, after the summit, and we can uh, have a meeting. Uh, I just to show you some. Such as this student. So when you first uh, get in, you have four weeks review, and this meeting, so you can see the report, what is recorded, what is recorded, discussed, and this is the nine months, and twenty months. And 30 months is still uh, which. So basically, this uh, meeting, the student will read this one, and then we are submitting the documents. For example, for uh, for nine months, you can see they will submit three uh, documents. First, <coughs> the first report is just to summarize what you have done. All supervisors have some comments. And then you have 3D research tour, you have that. So the 3D, which uh, workshop you have done, and what's the plan for next uh, year, and so on. And then the written work. This written work is about uh, from 10,000 to 15,000 words to demonstrate you have ability to write in a system. So this is the document. And then this is the meeting plan and who in the panel. So basically, RDA will be there, but then two other people are independent, academic, independent academic. And later on, we will submit a panel report to show what is the progress. If we agree, everything is fine, then we will choose the progress. Otherwise, it can be uh, MPhil. MPhil means Master of Philosophy. So you can convert to uh, master degree, not a PhD degree. It is not uh, uh, good enough. And then I will show you and think about uh, what normally we do here. So, and the same way, all your students are listed here. And uh, then, you will check which meeting, like this one, is uh, very soon, and this one is overdue, and so on. 
So basically, for this one, the student has responsibility. We submitted the report, and uh, so for this one, we call the supervision meetings. So at least every six weeks, should have one report meeting. Of course, we have lots of meetings, not only every six weeks. We have sometimes every week or two meetings a week. But some students didn't write up, and then you can show here. And uh, so once you submit it, and then the supervisor gives comments uh, on the meeting. And for this is the review. And this is the review the time, and then the supervisor can arrange the time for the meeting. For the meeting. So this is the first supervisor, and then second supervisor, and so on. So we have a lot of uh, this facility. So basically, all the meetings are all the meetings are recorded, and you can see this is uh, uh, 1918 to 19, and you can go back uh, with the past meetings. Everywhere you have record, you have record. So later on, if the student have some difficulties, some issues, and the university can check all the records. Okay, and the last thing I think is a good time. Uh, last thing is I talk about this. So this is uh, the one I use. I used it for a few years now. And uh, all my students uh, writing on thesis from here. And, uh, and this one is something still in writing. So basically, this is a document you can write every chapter separately and then put all of them together and make a invitation. Uh, so every format, everything is fixed. And uh, what you put, you just put in the contents. And uh, the contents can be uh, modified this style. And uh, you can immediately say what is uh, there. Sometimes the server is online, so it's not uh, uh, not uh, fast enough. And here is the share. So this one, you can choose who can edit this document. And you can share with other people. Especially when I have students from different uh, uh, locations. This one, this student is based on Greece. So you can say, uh, oh, maybe it's too big. It's, uh, it's And uh, also, we can write on the papers. Uh, so, like this one. Hopefully, this one is quicker. Okay, so I think uh, my talk finished uh, here. Any questions?
So we have lots of things for the, the, the stuff tree. Okay, thank you. I wanted to know about the soft skills, training soft skills. This is the uh, basic idea of our project. How do we can? Yeah, I think uh, the, the the one I did the workshop is the one for students to, to get to this year. And uh, also we organize the, the conference, not the training conference, research conference for students, and uh, we have on three three minutes uh, competition. Uh, the students can against each other to uh, present their work, and uh, also attend the conferences. We have travel ground, if to spend the time with the paper accepted. And uh, so for, for me, if my student attended the conference, I will ask them to give a presentation course in my group. And for the paper, it's also similar. When one student writing a paper, and he will present the paper, I come the paper to all my students. And uh, then we will give uh, some comments and try to improve so the sufficient for you to decide that uh, they are rather skillful um, in soft skills. Right? <laughs> you mean uh, PhD students? Of course, PhD students. But what about, uh, what about supervisors? I could be very, very uh, good researcher, yes. but very bad supervisor, yeah? you understand? So yes. uh, if uh, I, am not, uh, I wasn't trained, yeah? Uh, what, uh, so, what, what are the requirements for supervisor? Yeah, uh, not just the PhD, uh, uh, not just PhD, but maybe some other supervisor. Yeah, what are the training courses you get? Yeah, and what are the uh, criteria of efficiency of supervisor? Yeah. Yeah, I remember attending several, especially when I joined 2011. At the beginning, we attended lots of trainings. So, for how to you know, uh, efficiently supervise the uh, student and uh, how to do the project management. We train you a lot of uh, this kind of thing. Of course, it's a long time ago. Supervisors? Yeah, supervisors. Yeah. Project management? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, sometimes uh, uh, we have different students from different, uh, have different abilities. Some very strong ability, but uh, uh, they are not, uh, uh, they are, they're doing work efficiently, but they are not, uh, thinking widely. And some students, uh, they, are, uh, they are lazy. So they are clever, but they are lazy. So I remember we had the workshops for the and and the tour. Yeah. Not for students. Not for, not for the tour. We have small workshops, and we try to do some work and choose how to make the best for particular students in this country. Yeah. But it was a long time ago. Yeah. Thank you very much.